Good morning, 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 good morning. How are you? I am getting ready to start my walk, but before I start my walk, I wanted to make my video. And so I got plenty of rest, y'all. My bags, I'm trying to take care of my my skin while I can. Y'all know hitting the age. We gotta eat, we gotta drink, we gotta do better, right? And so I didn't know what to say to y'all on this morning. So I'm gonna say do better. And when you know to do better, you're going to do better. But some of us do not know to do better. And some of us do know, but we try to make excuses why we don't do what we do supposed to do for ourselves. So um, when you get older, you get wise, okay? And I thank God I got to utilize the tools that my grandma and my father have inherited in me and the loved ones that went on and all those who have poured into my life and into your life. So I got to use my wisdom, which I, um, that's one thing God gave me was wisdom. Amen. Knowledge. He gave me a little bit. So I'm going to use what I have. Amen. And so encouraging scripture on today is Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, therefore, since we, therefore, and it's King James. Now, hold on, y'all. This is the international. I'm sorry. This is the international version. And it is King James um, International. We are reading Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witness, let us throw off everything that hinders us. And I want to stick with that word. I want to mute right now. And I want to mute to the word on hinders. And the sin that lay aside let us throw off everything that hinders hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run the run with perseverance and the race marked out of us so y'all i'm gonna get the internet uh, that's the international version i'm going to get the king james versions because i pretty much like the king james version but anywho anyhow how y'all doing i hope y'all have an amazing day start remember to start your day off right so king james says wherefore seeing we also are compassed about with so with with so a great cloud of witness. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do it so easily beset us. Y'all know we got some stuff. Amen. And I'm not trying to preach to you, but just want to give you words of encouragement about a lot of stuff that I know for myself. Let me use me for myself. A lot of stuff that we go through. Amen. We don't have to go through or there could be something that's blocking you from doing what you need to do for yourself. Amen. It could be communication. It could be conversation and it could be the sin, as he said. OK, the sin that I'm sorry, lay aside. Let me hold up, y'all. Let us lay aside every weight and, and the sin. And so weight is something that weighs us down or something that's in our way. Or it could be things that we're doing we know we're not supposed to be doing. And it will stop you from getting closer to God. It will stop you. It will actually backtrack you. Amen. It will entangle you to continue doing the things that God has set you free from bondage. Amen. Sin is bondage. And, and, and I hear people say all the time, we are sin, we are sin, and come straight in the glory of God. We do, but God forbid shall you continue living in sin when you know to do right. And so, again, the scripture on today is Hebrews 12 and 1, before I get my daily walk on. And so there will be a, a part two, there will be a video of me walking. And so, again, 12 and 1 says, wherefore we are also are compassed about with such a great cloud. And, you know, my dad used to tell me growing up, um, he used to always say, girl, there's a cloud over you. You ever heard somebody say, there's a cloud over you. And it's like when you can't think clearly or cloud clouding is like something is blocking you. You know what I'm saying? And so my dad used to say, girl, it's a cloud over you. Move that cloud out your way. And I was like, what, what you talking about, dad? And so now that I'm older... <clears throat> I'm wiser, I'm better, so much better. Anyway, I can't sing, but anywho. <laughs> How? Stick with the plan, Sean. And so I just wanted to give y'all the encouraging words like, you know, get rid of whatever it is, you know, whatever hinders you, stopping you from doing what you need to do for yourself or stopping you from getting close to God. You uh, know, there's also a good scripture that tells us, Old foolish Galatians who have bewitched you from knowing the truth. So whatever it is, y'all, if it's clothes, if it's people, places, things, if it's shoe, take your butt to the altar. What? That's why the church is the hospital, right? And so the altar is where you lay things sacred, right? 
Go out, lay out before God. I don't care who looking at you. Why are they looking at you? Because it's all about your deliverance. It's all about you getting well for yourself. You being a better person for you. Amen. And so I'm working on myself. I pray and hope somebody else willing to work on they self and to acknowledge it. Right. So again, the encouraging scripture on today, the scripture on today is Jamrol. Hebrews 12 and 1. Lay aside. I'm going to paraphrase. If y'all if, if will. Lay aside every way. Therefore, lay aside every weight, everything that's clouding you, clouding your mind, clouding your spirit, clouding you, keeping you from knowing the truth, keeping you from doing what you need to do for you. And there are interferences. Uh -uh. That'll be a part two, right? So again, hope you guys have an amazing day. And there's a part two of another video coming to me walking, right? Because my hindrance is me. I'm going to admit it, right? If you can admit it, you can quit it. Always remember, if you can admit something... That's why a lot of times people that drinks or people that have problems or habits, they don't like to admit it because they know once they admit it, they acknowledge, right? They're acknowledging that they they got a problem. And so that's why they tell a lot of alcoholics, you know, um, that's why they don't like to go get help because some of them ain't ready to quit or to stop doing what they love to do. And a lot of us, that's with us. A lot of us don't like to quit and stop doing what we know we should be doing for ourselves and so i'm getting ready to go for my walk my hindrance is my legs right which i'm blaming it which it is you know my legs hurt me so bad but i i have to push press and release right so i have to persevere and so again the scripture encouraging scripture on today is hebrews 12 and 1 inspirational um quote is hold on y'all Okay, y'all. Uh, got stagnant on words. It's, uh, encouraging scripture is Hebrews 12 and 1. The inspirational quote on today is, you can, you can know that it's okay to do for you. Okay? Taking care of you in the process of taking care of you. All right? It is okay. Love y'all. Told me to get Don't forget to pray for somebody. Anyone uplifted. And I'm going to always give hope for tomorrow. Peace.